Why is change not happening at the speed that it needs to? Why is the climate still changing faster than we are? One big reason is that people get really mixed messages all day, every day, from advertising telling us it's okay to have high carbon lifestyles like flying and driving big SUVs. It's bizarre. In the middle of a climate emergency, why are we still surrounded by adverts to heavily polluting products and lifestyles that make the emergency worse? Now, of course, there was a time not long ago when tobacco companies used doctors to promote smoking. Cigarettes were sold as your throat protection. They used pictures of babies boasting about their dad's cigarette brand. But smoking was killing people, just as the climate crisis is now. Tobacco companies knew about the health impacts for decades, but resisted and lobbied against action. The tobacco industry lost. They got a 200 billion compensation bill in the US. Their adverts were widely banned, cutting smoking and saving countless lives. It's the same playbook used by the fossil fuel industries now. They knew too, decades ago, about their climate impacts, but they sowed doubt and lobbied against action. Each year, an estimated 8.7 million people die from the pollution from burning fossil fuels alone. That's before climate-driven disasters and extreme weather events. How big is the problem? It's huge. There are adverts everywhere for big SUVs, airlines, and energy companies pretending they're greener than they really are. Shell, Aramco, Qatar Energy, they sponsor everything from international football to cycling and cricket. Now, sadly, advertising works. A recent estimate looking at the impact on sales of cars and flights suggested that in 2019, advertising could be responsible for between 200 and 600 million tons of greenhouse gas emissions. That's somewhere between the Netherlands' entire emissions and almost twice those of Spain in 2019. The message is not getting through. Car makers have cheated on emissions on an epic scale and lobbied against action. The airline's fly net zero plan literally ignores half of aviation's climate impact and imagines flight Flight numbers doubling by 2050. But change through action is possible, and steps are beginning to be taken. France is requiring car adverts to carry environmental warnings and advice to walk, cycle, or take public transport instead. Stockholm announced it will be banning high carbon ads. A European citizens initiative raised over 300,000 signatures for a new EU law to ban fossil fuel ads. Amsterdam and five other Dutch cities banned public ads for fossil fuels and cars and airlines. But more needs to be done. Given the challenges facing other climate measures, simply removing the pressure from advertising that pushes us to consume extra polluting products should be an attractive option for policy makers. Speaking at COP27, the Director of Public Health at the World Health Organization endorsed a legally binding tobacco-style ban on fossil advertising in the name of health. Of course, stopping ads won't alone prevent the sale of harmful products, but it will reduce demand and the cultural normalization of harm. It's time for us to stop promoting our own self-destruction and stub out high-carbon ads, and you could help by supporting the advertising campaign.